What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about claws. Episode four. Claws is getting intense for me, you guys. It really is. Desna's nightmare. And like, I didn't even touch on it at the end. I didn't even touch on it for episode three because the episode ended with like Roller coming butt naked out the bathroom and like jumping on her and stuff because I was like, I figured, okay, whatever. Like she's just dreaming, like not a big deal. Not really much to talk about. But we see how that whole thing evolved over the episode. He's like haunting her basically. So that's creepy in its own right. And I wonder if that's something that'll make her crack eventually. I really hope it's not. I really hope she, she sticks to her guns, but I feel like deep down somewhere she cared about him, but he sucks and he was emotionally and physically abusive. So it's like, what are you gonna do? Now, Miss Heather, AKA Polly was cracking me up. Quiet and like laughing and her and Jen like making jokes about it as like she's putting on her accent and talking to the lady was really funny to me. It was just interesting to kind of get a glimpse at the types of stuff she was doing before she got arrested. Now the whole Titus thing came back to bite Virginia. Now a man has been chopped up and fed to the alligators thanks to the dirty cop and Uncle Daddy eat was he eating chicken nuggets? Like how are you just eating chicken nuggets while a body is getting chopped up and then poor Bryce snapped and is like covered in blood, burning food in front of his kids, which irritated the life out of me. Like if you're gonna be a criminal and you're gonna be about it, don't drag your pretty little kids into it. Be an adult, go be a criminal somewhere else. Yeah. Cause that's that's what you do. There's always one like awkward moment in these episodes, especially, especially ones where like Uncle Daddy has any time by himself. I'm always left to feel like really uncomfortable. Like the random synchronized swimming with like his son and the chicks in the, in the pool. I was just like, why is this happening? Like I feel like their relationship is just so unnatural. And then he's like, aha. I picked out my boobs. He's like, yeah, I'm happy looking like a supermodel. Like, why are y'all so weird? Why can't y'all just be just a normal mom family? Like, why does it have to be such a project? I don't know. It was just the weirdest thing. Now through the episode, Bryce was obviously getting suspicious of Desna and all this money. And then he finds the gun in Dr. Ken's safe. Now that was weird for me a little bit because that gun doesn't look anything like the gun that Roller was shot with or the one that Desna used to shoot up the place. So I don't know if that was just his lack of crime skill and they just let that slide because that was just part of his character that he was like, oh, it's the same gun, blah, 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 but it wasn't. Or maybe I just don't know guns. I don't know, they look completely different though. So I, I don't know, it was just weird. Trails off Desna and they're blaming Dr. Ken. So I don't know, I was freaking out at the end of the episode. They can't kill Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken cracks me up. Like he's so funny in like the most subtle way. I love his character. I'm like, I need Dr. Ken to live. I'm really interested to see what happens with that. Something that I don't, I'm still kind of interested to see what happens is with the Russian lady, right? The Russian lady's back and she's talking to Desna. Like, what is it? Like, does she work for like the competitor? Were they saying like Peter Pan this episode? Like when they were trying to figure out how to like start bringing more traffic, they were talking about stealing customers from somewhere. Like, does she run that operation or what? Like, it's just, I want to know. I want to know why she's there and what what she's trying to accomplish. Cause right now I just, I just don't understand. Now I thought the 15K blackmail against the lady that Polly was conning for friendship was interesting because I felt like Polly's speech was right. She was like, you know, we're, we're the same people. Just like she's conning that dude in the house. Like I conned you for your friendship. Like still a good person. Like just cause you have money doesn't mean that you're better than me. But you know, she kicked her out. Didn't really want to listen to her made her feel dirty, got to see Polly turn up for the first time and came back to bite her. That's what happens. It's like that quote, like with like your best friends, like we could never stop being friends. Cause like, you know too much about me. Like that was that instance. Cause she knew what day and time to show up to see you spanking people. Now you're out your rainy day fund. Sucks to be you. That's what you get for being a bad person. God don't like ugly. Now in the trailer for next week, it sounds like Clay's wife, I don't know, do you call her Auntie Mommy? Like what's her name, <laughs> Aunt Mommy? I don't know, but she looks like the Crypt Keeper. So Uncle Daddy's wife feels like 
Desna and Virginia, and I don't know if she's just talking about them too, or all the girls at the salon know more than they're letting on, so it sounds like the trail towards them might start lighting up a little bit next week, in which case things are gonna get real scary because folks are already getting chopped up, Bryce is trying to kill Dr. Ken, like things are getting hot. And I don't know, I don't know what way there is out of it except for killing Uncle Daddy. Like what's somebody else gonna do? Like that's it, kill Roller. Next step, kill Uncle Daddy. Everybody wins. Woo! Death on everybody. I don't know. I guess, I guess we're just, I guess we're just gonna have to see. Let me know what you guys think about the Russians. That's what I want this week. I want Russian theories. What do you think the Russian theory is? My guess, my thought is that they run the other pill mill. Let me know if you agree or if you think something else. And if you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.